everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY I'll show you how to make an elegant and beautiful candle holder. I think it'll be perfect for a wedding or for every day. Alright to get started I'm going to be using one of these small vases from Dollar Tree and I also have a tea light holder that I found at Goodwill. Now this is really going to make a difference in the way that this DIY looks. I don't know exactly where you would find these. I would say check out a Goodwill to see whatever they have or you can also use just a regular tea light from Dollar Tree. It was either 59 or 99 cents at Goodwill and of course this was a dollar so I'm going to go ahead and remove the sticker and clean them up really well. Come back and glue them together. And I'll also be using one of these cylinder bases from Dollar Tree. This has already been cleaned so once I glue these two together we'll get to work on this. Okay so I'm done cleaning both pieces. Now what I want to do is put some alcohol on them. I'm going to put some alcohol on the base. And since I'm gluing this on here like this, I'm going to clean the inside with alcohol as well. Just to remove any oil. I really want to have a really strong contact between both pieces. Here I'll be using my favorite, which is the Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. So I'm going to take some glue and put it right inside here. Okay, and now I'm just going to sit it right on top. Alright, so now I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to add some crushed glass to this piece. Alright, so here I have some crushed glass in a bowl. And this is the bag that it came in. And if you guys check Michael's right now, you might be able to find some. They re seem to restock around the end of the year. So what I'm going to do now is put crushed glass on the cylinder base. Here I have some Mod Podge. And this is the Mod Podge that I'm using. You can also find the small containers of Mod Podge at Dollar Tree as well. So all I'm going to do now is simply brush the Mod Podge onto the cylinder base and then put the crushed glass on top of the Mod Podge. Right, so I'll just put my hand on the inside and get to it. And just pour them on. Now let me say this, if you have a fresh manicure or you recently got your nails done, make sure you put on gloves. So what I'm going to do is let this completely dry, then I'll come back because there are some open spaces. I'll come back in with a second coat of Mod Podge and crushed glass and fill in those spaces and I'll let you guys see what that looks like. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then come back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see it's completely dry. So now I'm going to go in with some more Mod Podge in those open spaces and then fill it in with more crushed glass. Alright, just like that, and I'll continue to go all the way around and fill in any open spaces. Now, if you're okay with the open spaces, that's on you. For me, I want a really professional and completed look, so I'm going to go in and fill in those spaces and then come back. Okay, I'm done adding my second layer of crushed glass. Now I'll let this dry. Once it's dry, I'll seal the crushed glass in place. 
Now I'm going to add a third piece to the base. I wanted to use one of the small Dollar Tree glass bowls, but unfortunately they didn't have any. So I went to Goodwill and found this. And as you can see, it was only 79 cents. Now it's not a bowl, it's some type of lid, but I think it's gonna work out fine. So now I'll go ahead and remove the sticker and then clean it really well and then glue it to the very bottom of my base. Now I'll let this sit for about six hours and then move on to the next step. After this first coat of crushed glass is dry, I'll come back in with the second coat, let it dry, and move on to the next step. Okay, as you can see, I'm back with both pieces. So now all I need to do is glue these two pieces together. Here I have some alcohol. I clean both pieces with alcohol before I glue them together. I have my Gorilla Glue, and I'm just going to put it right on the base. Okay, so I think this is pretty much centered. So I'll put some weight on top and allow this to dry for another six hours. If you want to, you can add some bling around here. If you don't, it's beautiful with just the glass showing. But I'll go ahead and add some bling because I'm a bling girl. Off camera, I went ahead and cut a strip of bling that I'll be using. And if you're interested in this bling, I'll link it below. And just like that, it's done. Now these are the candles that I recommend using, the ones that come in the glass. So I'll go ahead and put this on the inside, light it, well actually light both of them because I have two candle holders. Then come back and let you see what they look like. And here are my two elegant candle holders, lit up and on display. And I think they're absolutely stunning. And it took me less than $4 to build one. I think these candle holders are perfect for anyone, especially if you're on a tight budget or even planning a wedding. Okay, everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. And please don't forget to share and comment. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one.
Thanks so much for watching.